Samantha, hey, congratulations for being on this terrific series, The Ark. Thank you. So, so tell us, um, what was your path on getting onto this show? How how did that actually came about for you? Um, sure, yeah. So, um, going back a little bit, um, I'm an actor. I've been training since I was a little kid. I've always loved it. Um, and I recently moved to Vancouver and was kind of doing the whole audition grind out here. Um, and I knew at the time that my father, Jonathan Glasner, was uh, working on a science fiction show. Um, and honestly, I didn't know a ton about it in the past. He had never kind of, um, given me an opportunity to audition for anything. Like we always kind of kept our, our work separately. Um, but he called me one day and he said, um, there's a role on the arc that I think would be a really, really good fit for you. Um, do you want to audition for it? And I said, sure, send the sides. Um, so he sent the sides over. I taped. Um, I absolutely loved the character. Um, and he was happy with the tape and sent it off and the network and everyone approved it. And there it was. <laughs> so that's kind of the story of, of how it happened. Um, it was incredibly exciting for me, um, especially to get to work on a project that he's working on. He's, he's my father. I've I've had such a close relation with, excuse me, relationship with him my whole life. And, and I've looked up to him so, so much. And I always knew that like, this was an industry that I wanted to be a part of. And I fell in love with acting, visiting on, visiting him on set when I was, you know, seven, eight years old and watching the actors and I'd see the scenes over and over and over again. My dad would be like, you, you know, you, you can go home now. It's okay. They're just going to do the scene again and again and again. And I was like, no, no, no I want to watch the actors. I want to see the choices they're making. I, I want to talk to them like I I just grew up knowing that that was something I wanted to do and I wanted to be an actor and um I think a lot of you know the love that I have for film and tv comes from him and so it was really cool to get to you know be on a project that he's put so much love and work into um yeah it was it, an incredible opportunity so this is your first time working with your father overall, rather than, you know, tagging along and shadowing him all after all these years. Yeah, it, it, yes, exactly. Um, it, yeah, it was, it was incredible. I mean, I've always, I've always had him, you know, he's been incredibly supportive throughout my process, becoming an actor auditioning. And, you know, he's always been somebody that I can, you know, set a tape to and be like, hey, can you give me notes? I'm not feeling great about this audition. I think I want to tape again. Um, and he'll always be honest with me and give me constructive feedback. And yeah, I, he has been such an incredible support for me throughout. Great. Throughout my year. It, sound, it sounds like you, you all uh, kept it all professionally in the, uh, in the family, which is terrific news. <laughs> but, uh, let, let's talk about your character, Samantha. Um, this character, what Kel Kelly flower, um, tell, tell us, uh, what, uh, how it was actually introduced to you and how you wanted to portray her on the series. Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, when I first got the sides, I was only given episode seven. So I was kind of in the same vote that viewers are now. <laughs> Basically, I knew episode seven. I didn't really know much beyond that about this character. Um, and I remember reading the scenes and just thinking, what is this girl's deal? You know, like um, I found her fascinating. I was like, I can't quite figure out who she is or, you know, what she's up to. And that really drew me to her. And I, I loved, I was excited about the idea of kind of delving into that more and trying to understand who she is. And um, she's just such a multidimensional, well-written and crafted character. And I honestly feel so grateful to get to have worked on a character like that I think that's kind of every actor's goal is to get to work on someone like Kelly so yeah <laughs> so <laughs> so supposedly you don't have the inside track um to to this mysterious character do do they at least tell you uh how many uh episode arc that this character will be or is it going to be a permanent recurring character um, well, so I was told when I auditioned that they weren't sure how many episodes she would be in. Um, could be two, could be 
the whole season. I, they, they, I don't think they knew. Um, so I didn't know as well. I didn't really know until I was literally getting scripts on set. Um, I would, I would get a script and be like, Oh, we're still alive. Um, so yeah, it was, it was all kind of a mystery to me in terms of, you know, how, how long she'd be a part of the story. Most excellent. Well, she she's a mystery to some of us who actually watches the show. We're we're, <laughs> we're actually at this point unsure whether she's a good guy or you know a villain. Who knows, right? And and it seems like you don't even know. <laughs> I do know now. <laughs> oh. um, I know now. Obviously, having you know filmed filmed the whole show, but yeah, I, I think that that's one of the things that really drew her to drew me to her as a character initially is the fact that she's kind of mysterious and she's got a lot of dimensions to her and um like you'll see you'll see what i mean as the episodes continue to air so um does the production staff only give you one script at a time so so this way in your mindset you don't really know how this ends yeah we got one at a time. So we we were kind of yeah, we were finding out as we were going where everyone was going. Wow. Well, for 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 some of us who who watches the show and for some of us who hasn't watched the show, um tell us about um you know this arc 3 that you actually, you know, were on because, you know, people who watch the show are familiar with arc 1, but arc 3 is very mysterious because it's it comes after arc one obviously <laughs> yes <laughs> it does um well so basically what we know based on episode seven is that there is another arc and everybody on this arc with the exception of kelly and ross her friend initially although if you watch the episode ross does die later so that it's just kelly but um everybody else is dead and so, you know, you see the crew of Arc 1 kind of wandering around, finding all these dead bodies, and Strickland finds the body of his husband, and, you know, the captain's body falls out of the closet, and all of this dark, creepy stuff going on, and it's very mysterious, and, um, yeah, I, I think the crew still doesn't really know what to think about what happened, um, yeah. <laughs> and um, you know, shadowing your uh, father for so long, what is your love of sci-fi? It it sounds like you you enjoy this going into these big sets after all these years. Yeah, I I mean, I kind of I grew up, you know, watching sci-fi, watching adventure, and watching you know, kind of anything and everything. I mean, it's it's you know, it's my dad's world. It's what he works in. So I grew up, you know getting to watch all these incredible films that he wanted me to see and shows and, you know, like the Twilight Zone, for example, was something I was, but I was exposed to a lot as a kid because my dad would say, this is such a, this is such a great um, example of science fiction. I want you kids to watch it, like things like that. Um, so I, yeah, I, I just grew up with like a huge respect and love for this craft and for TV and for film. Um, yeah. it's just kind of it's kind of what I know it's kind of you know I grew up around it well it's certainly going to open doors uh for you Samantha but before one more thing before I let you go give us a preview that we haven't seen yet uh um for this show what do, what should we expect for Kelly Flower Ooh, um boy that must be the toughest question then <laughs> It is. It is the toughest question just because I don't want to give anything away. Um, but I will say there is a lot of there's a lot of excitement to come. That is what I will say. Um, I think yes, there's there's a there's a lot of exciting things in store, um, and a lot more that you will learn about Kelly as the show goes on. Most excellent. What I love this show is because everyone has an excellent chemistry with, um, with the cast, and you join you joining them in one way or another will make it a even a better show. Thank you very much, Samantha, for uh, speaking to us about the arc. Of course, thank you.
Thank you. Next time.